Hi everyone, my name is Jin Ya Jiang, and you can call me Yaya. Being an international student from China, I am proud to have the opportunity to share information about Chinese culture. More specifically, I will be going over the Chinese Lunar New Year and the Spring Festival. I hope you can enjoy my presentation. Topics that I will be covering will be the origins, which will go over the lunar calendar, the 24 solar terms, zodiac, and mythology, the time, and the traditions. Then, I will conclude the video with a brief summary. In order to introduce the festival, I have to briefly talk about ancient China first. Firstly, China is a big agricultural country with large rural population, long farming history, and rich resources. People in China attach huge importance in farming and agricultural development in order to support society and other people. Since agriculture relies heavily on the weather, temperature, dates, and so on, ancient Chinese people use lunar calendar, which is based on the monthly moon phases, and they also invented the 24 solar terms according to the sun's ecliptic longitude and Chinese zodiac to match significant natural phenomenon and keep track of years, seasons, and days. In this way, it is more accurate to know the seasons and what time to do different kinds of farming work. Nowadays, Chinese people still use two different kinds of calendars. One is the lunar calendar, another is the globally used solar calendar. For the lunar calendar, there are 30 days for each month, and for the Chinese zodiac, um, there are 12 animals, and uh, uh, rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Each animal represented one year, so this is a full cycle of 12 years. And 2021 is the year of the ox. People celebrate the festival for many reasons. One is that people used to worship the gods and ancestors and pray for the new year to have great weather, no disasters and a prosperous harvest. Therefore, people celebrated what they had this year and wish to have a great harvest in the upcoming year. Also, during that time, people are not so busy doing work, so they have time for the family re reunion and gathering. There is also, also a mythology saying that a Nian beast comes out every year at the beginning of the new year and feeds on people. Since the beast is scared of fire, the color red, and noise, people started to celebrate the festival by putting up la red lanterns, spring couplets, and Chinese paper cuttings. People also set up firecrackers to uh, fend off the beast. In terms of time, the Spring Festival, also known as the Chinese New Year, is celebrated from the first day of the Lunar New Year to the Lantern Festival, right here on the 15th of the year, which also signals the official end of the festival. People will usually eat tangyuan, a bowl of sticky rice filled with black sesame and sugar, enjoy beautiful lanterns and gas riddles in the temple fairs. It is also a tradition for people to watch the breathtaking performance of dragon dancing on that day. The exact dates differ every year because of the differences in the lunar and solar calendars. But the first day of the first lunar month usually starts somewhere between January and February. Now let's move to uh, the traditions and some activities that take place during the festival. People start making preparations before the new year. For example, Da Sao Chu is a tradition to clean the house thoroughly and sweep away all the bad luck and let the good luck come in. People will also buy all kinds of foods for meals planned for later and they will decorate their houses with red paper cuts and couplets in advance. On New Year's Eve, Chinese people often have a big meal of all kinds of meats and vegetables. People will also watch TV shows together and light, light up fireworks. Staying up late for the countdown, due to the environmental concerns and government regulations, people have transitioned to electronic firecrackers to protect the environment. On the following days, Chinese people will pay New Year's visits to their relatives and friends and give good wishes for the upcoming year. 
In addition, kids will get red pocket money along with the wishes from the elders. So these are just a few of the many traditions that Chinese people celebrate during the Spring Festival. To sum up, it is the most important festival in Chinese culture, and it is time to share happiness and good wishes. People will always come home and have a family reunion together, no matter where you are. So following are the resources and the links for the pictures that I use in this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. It was a pleasure for me to share my culture with you. And I hope you have a great day.